Welcome back, everybody. I am back, y'all, with another video. Let me, I'm, I'm forgetting the cards that I want to use. Hold on. Okay, okay, okay. All right, so we're going to use the Twin Flame Journey Oracle. And let's go ahead and get some tea, y'all. If you are new to the channel, welcome in. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I am the Empress. Happy to have you here with me, guys. Go ahead and click the bell because y'all not going to want to miss out on future videos at all. Let me tell you. Let me tell you, not going to want to miss out now. For my returners, welcome back, honeys. Thank y'all so much for your support and booking personal readings. If you're interested in booking a personal reading, guys, my contact information is in the comment section. It is pinned down below on how to contact me via email to get set up for a personal reading. Your reading will be to you within 24 hours. If I do not respond right away, it's may, more than likely because I've booked and I will reach out and say I'm booked for today, but we can get you booked and set for the next day, okay? So let's see how your twin flame, your divine masculine feels about you currently. This is a reading for all signs. All right. I feel like your person is sitting back in the cut. Y'all may not be in communication at all. You guys may have been. It's been a while since you have seen or dealt with this person. But this person is sitting back admiring the work that you have done. They, they know that they caused some grief in your life. Um, but I feel like they, they understand why you move the way you move, why you're doing the things that you're doing It's divine timing. Okay. And I feel like a lot of y'all may have re reinvented yourself after you have gone through some type of healing. Okay. So this person is sitting back. They see you have healed or you're going through a process of healing after Y'all decide to let each other go. They're sitting back admiring it, actually. They admire that about you. How you're able to pick up the pieces and put things back together for yourself. Okay? They admire that. Yep, I knew it. They're not seeing anything. Y'all haven't spoken since y'all, you know, let each other go. Um, you both have went on a new journey. Y'all took a different direction. Both of y'all, y'all split, y'all went separate ways. But this person is being guided back to you. Okay, this person is being guided back to you. They just aren't saying anything right now. They are on mute. I'm hearing nothing. Silence. Okay. And you know what? As soon as I said that, let me tell you something. This person is trying to prove, okay, that they have free will. I do see that they could be dealing with someone else. But um, let me show you something. They abandoned this connection. They abandoned you for this third party. Okay, so they left to go to a third party. But, <laughs> OMG, how they're regretting that. How they are regretting that. And really what the truth is, they might be over there with them, but they want to be back over here with you. That's how karma works sometimes, baby. That's how it works sometimes. This person feels like they settled out of fear, okay? They settled out of fear with this um, third party. 
But I feel like this third party is trying to marry you. We got marrying and big dreams. I feel like this third party could know who you is and they're marrying you. They're marrying you. This masculine settled, okay? We got settling. You made a commitment to the karmic out of fear. I'm getting this masculine is um, drinking a lot, smoking a lot, doing whatever he can, working a lot, whatever, to numb the pain, okay? Yeah, the answer is yes. Spirit is confirming that what is being said is true. You've ascended so much that this person may not even recognize you. Okay. When they come back around for another chance, I feel like this person is not even going to recognize you. You're not going to be the same. Um... I told you this person is thinking about is thinking about you. Nostalgia. They're thinking about returning to you. They're thinking about returning to you because they have regrets. And see, that's their fault. They thought the grass was green. And it ended up being shit. <laughs> we got received. I'm going to have to clarify this. Mm. We got patient, soulmate, and karmic partner. I'm going to leave them right there because I'm about to clarify that. Give me one more card. Lessons. Didn't I tell you? Lessons. Okay, this twin flame is learning a lesson by dealing with this karmic situation okay y'all let this masculine go to go learn this lesson okay this person he this masculine needs to grow up okay this masculine has been dealing with this this trauma he has some trauma from his childhood that he needs to shed okay but i do want to clarify received let's see what is, what is he receiving from this karmic Hold on, y'all. I'm hearing something didn't make it better. Um, somebody doesn't is upset about something. Okay, so there's some drama going on with the masculine and the karmic. I didn't want to say it, but I feel like the masculine could have got something from this karmic. And I'm, I'm picking up like a STD because we got received karmic partner, <clears throat> patience. But this, look how this soulmate card look. And it's on top of received. And then karmic partner. 
And this is kind of giving me feelings of like medicine. Okay, this is kind of giving me feels of it's giving me temperance energy, like having to fix something. I feel like this masculine received some type of STD from the karmic. So the best thing, the best thing, or the karmic received some type of STD from the masculine. Either way, there, it seems like it's a lot of, you mess with this, I mess with that. It's, it's kind of like an open thing to me. Um... Yeah, that kind of threw me for a loop. All right, so let's see what they want to say to you. Yeah, this masculine know they messed up. See, they crossed the line with you. They overstepped the boundary with you. And then we got, we need to let each other go. So they overstepped the boundary. They could have actually done this on purpose. Because that was their way. They didn't know any other way to cut ties. So they overstepped the boundary. Um, because we got, I know I messed everything up. And then I know that I crossed the line with you. So it seems like it's kind of done um, purposely. And then we got I hide behind material things. So they fake as hell. This masculine, yeah, we got I'm not available. Yep. So this person know exact knew exactly what they were doing. They're busy hiding behind material things. Um, because this person has low self-esteem. This masculine has low self-esteem. And he's saying he's not available. It's not available. They're still out here looking for you, trying to see if they can bump into you. Cause later on down the line, we got we will be together again. So they feel like they can just leave and come back whenever they get ready as well too. And then we got I regret lying to you. So that's what I got, guys. If this message was helpful, be sure to hit the thumbs up as well as share with your family and your friends, guys. If you're interested in booking a personal, personal readings are $25, okay? $25 for right now. That's a steal, guys, because I charge $70 for my reads. So if you're a new client and you would like to book a personal reading with me, this is for newbies only. $25, guys. $25, that's a steal, okay? My email address is going to be in the comment section below, all right? So you can reach out to me and you'll get your reading within 24 hours, all right? So until next time, ciao.